Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, it's hard to believe that only 10 years ago an HIV diagnosis was a death sentence for those living all over the world, but especially in Africa. It was downright disgraceful that even though life-saving therapy existed, millions of people were dying of AIDS because treatment was unaffordable. There are a few votes I've taken in the course of my career that have made a significant a positive impact on this world and the vote I have cast in favor of PEPFAR. As of September 2012, the United States is supporting life-saving antroviral treatment for more than 5.1 million people. More than 11 million pregnant women received HIV testing and counseling last year, and as a result of adequate treatment this month, the one millionth baby will be born it will be born HIV-free thanks to PEPFAR. The fact an AIDS-free generation is on the horizon is a true testament to the willingness of President Bush, President Obama, and Congress to take on this immense challenge and do the hard work necessary to turn the tide against HIV and AIDS. We must continue to do that, Mr. Speaker, and I yield back the remainder of my